In mathematics, a complete measure or, more precisely, a complete measure space is a measure space in which every subset of every null set is measurable having measure zero. More formally, a measure space X, sigma, mu is complete if and only if S n element of sigma and mu n equals 0 s element of sigma display style s subset n in sigma m box and mu n equals 0 right arrow s in sigma topic motivation The need to consider questions of completeness can be illustrated by considering the problem of product spaces. Suppose that we have already constructed Lebesgue measure on the real line, denote this measure space by R, B, lambda. We now wish to construct some two-dimensional Lebesgue measure lambda 2 on the plane R2 as a product measure. Naively, we would take the sigma algebra on R2 to be BB, the smallest sigma algebra containing all measurable rectangles, A1 times A2 for I element of B. While this approach does define a measure space, it has a flaw. Since every singleton set has one dimensional Lebesgue measure 0, lambda 2 0 times equals lambda 0 lambda equals 0 display style lambda caret 2 0 times a equals lambda 0 c d o t lambda a equals 0 for any Subset of R, however, suppose that A is a non measurable subset of the real line, such as the Vitali set. Then the lambda 2 measure of 0 times A is not defined, but 0 times a 0 times R. Display style 0 times A subset X 0 times math B R and this larger set does have lambda 2 measure 0 so this two dimensional lebesgue measure as just defined is not complete and some kind of completion procedure is required topic <laughs> construction of a complete measure Given a possibly incomplete measure space x, sigma, mu, there is an extension x, sigma zero, mu zero of this measure space that is complete. The smallest such extension, i.e., the smallest sigma algebra sigma zero, is called the completion of the measure space. The completion can be constructed as follows. Let Z be the set of all the subsets of the zero mu measure subsets of X. Intuitively, those elements of Z that are not already in sigma are the ones preventing completeness from holding true. Let sigma zero be the sigma algebra generated by sigma and Z, i.e., the smallest sigma algebra that contains every element of sigma and of Z. Mu has an extension to sigma zero, which is unique if mu is sigma finite, called the outer measure of mu, given by the infimum mu zero c equals inf mu d c d element of sigma display style mu underscore 0 C equals inf mu D C subset D in Sigma then X Sigma 0 mu 0 is a complete measure space and is the completion of X Sigma mu in the above construction it can be shown that every member of sigma 0 is of the former B for some element of Sigma and some B element of Z and mu 
zero a b equals mu a display style mu underscore zero a cup b equals mu a Topic Examples Borel measure as defined on the Borel sigma algebra generated by the open intervals of the real line is not complete, and so the above completion procedure must be used to define the complete Liebske measure. This is illustrated by the fact that the set of all Borel sets over the reals has the same cardinality as the reals. While the Cantor set is a Borel set, has measure zero, and its power set has cardinality strictly greater than that of the reals. Thus there is a subset of the Cantor set that is not contained in the Borel sets. Hence, the Borel measure is not complete. N-dimensional Liebske measure is the completion of the n-fold product of the one-dimensional Liebske space with itself. It is also the completion of the Borel measure, as in the one-dimensional case. Topic: <laughs> Properties. Maharam's theorem states that every complete measure space is decomposable into a measure on the continuum and a finite or countable counting measure. 